Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today, we are going to learn about trigonometry, especially for the year 12. And today, we are going to learn how to calculate the length using the sign rule. We have looked at trigonometry in year 10 and 11. We have looked at the right angle triangles. We use the Pythagoras theorem as well as the trig ratio. You can't remember them in the so Kato to solve the right angle triangle, the angle and the size of a triangle. In year 12, we are going to look at another type of triangle. This time, the triangle could be any triangle and they are not right angle. So the two methods we are going to solve using uh, trigonometry for year 12 are the two rules. The first one is called the sine rule and the second one is the cosine rule. Both these rules can be used to calculate both the sides and angles of any triangle. Okay, let's go. Okay, so before we learn, we need to know the formula. The sine rule has this formula. If you want to calculate angles, you use the top formula, okay? While the bottom one is the formula to calculate the sides. So it's the same thing, it's just the reverse. So to find the angles, you put sine A over A, sine B over B, and sine C over C, that's why it's called a sine rule. Or if you want to do to find the sides, A over sine A, B over sine B, C over sine C, I'll explain the capital A, B, and C are the angles, and the little, the lowercase A, B, and C, they are the sides of the triangle. Okay, so let's go. So we shall now look at some examples. Now we shall look at how to start an, a question. So the first thing you need to do, you need to label the sides and angles of a triangle. So the first thing you do, you're going to lab label the angles as A, B, and C. The, the order is not important. It could be A, B, and C. It could be any order you want. But the most important thing is you need to know the sides opposite the angle is the lower case. So for example, A, the capital A, the one opposite it is the lower case A. And the angle C, the one opposite the angle C is the lower case C. And the Ang the sides opposite the angle B is the little b or the lowercase b. So that is how you label. So when you have a question, the first thing you do, you are going to label them A, B, C. You could label them X, Y, Z. It's all dependent on which method you like. So we shall look at two examples. The first example is going to be A, B, C. And the second example is going to be X, Y, Z. Okay, so we shall now look. How are we going to do the sine rule. So to do the sine rule or to use the sine rule, you need two main conditions for this rule to work. Remember this, okay, very important. The first rule is that three of the unknown values of the triangle have to be given and you are finding the unknown. So the one you want to calculate is called the unknown and three other values must be given. If you are given less than three, means you got one or two, you cannot use the sine rule. And the second thing, two pairs must have the same alphabet. So it could be little lowercase a and angle a, lowercase b and angle b, or lowercase c and angle c. So two of them must play a part. So one of them can be deleted. So you must have two of them. So we shall look at an example here. The first example okay, is look here. Okay, So now, this the, the triangle A, B, and C. So we have labeled them A, B, and C. The side opposite the C is lowercase c, and the side opposite the B is lowercase b. So we are looking at rule number one. Do we have three known values? This is the first value, this is the second value, and this is the third value. So C is angle 51, B is 88, and the the side C opposite the angle C is 2.8. You are going to calculate the length AC, which is also called lowercase b. So to do that, we are using this sine rule. A over sine A, B over sine B equal to C over sine C because we are finding the sides, we are putting the sides on top. Okay, so that's the formula. So in the, the case, do we have two pairs? We have B and capital B. We have C and capital C. So there's no A in place, so we can cancel the A. So we are not interested in A. So we shall use this formula. So we are going to put the values in B and C into the equation. So lowercase b is 2.8. So we're going to put 
and then angle B is going to be 88 degrees, so we're going to be sine 88, and then C is, oh sorry, B is, you want, you're going to find B actually, C is 2.8, and sine C is sine 51. Okay, so now we are going to do some calculation. Based on algebra, you need to do, you need to get rid of the sine 88. So to do that, you multiply by sine 88 on the left, and you multiply sine 88 on the right. So what happened now? This sine 88 and sine 88 will cancel out. So your B is equal to 2.8 multiplied by sine 88 divided by sine 51. Then the last step, of course, put in your calculator. And I've done the calculation before. The answer is 3.6 centimeter. And that will give you an achieve in your internal. Okay, so it's not too bad. So first, you are going to find, put the formula A, B, and C. If you are not using the A, cancel the A. Then your B and C will play. Three of the values are given. You're going to put the values in there. So in this case, you do not know your B. You want to find B. So you put your B, capital B, little c, and the capital C into the equation. And you solve algebraically. And that's how you get your achieve. Got it? Okay, we should do one more to reinforce your learning. The next one is going to be similar, but different numbers. Okay, so this time we're going to label the triangle X, Y, and Z. So X is 45 degrees, so this is 45 degrees. The length is 3, and the angle Z is 77. Again, because we are finding the angle, uh, we're finding the side, we have to use the sides on top. X over sine X, you go to Y over sine Y, you go to Z over sine Z. So in this case, we have x, we have y, we have z, sorry, we do not have y, so there's no y, so we're going to cancel the y, okay? So now the next step, we're going to put the numbers into the equation. Sine x, so we're going to be, now x is going to be 3, the size of x is 3, sine 45, and then that, that's equal to z, z is the size, that's what we're going to find, z, because we are going to find the length of x, y, which is z, over sine of 77. So far, so good. Great. Now, the next step, we need to get rid of sine 77 because we under z. So what we do, we multiply sine 77 on both sides. And this will cancel out. So we are left with z is equal to 3 times sine 77 divided by sine 45 and of course, the last step, you put in your calculator, and I found it before, it's going to be 4.134 centimeter. So that will give you an achieve for to finding the size using the sine rule. Hope you have learned something. Keep practicing, and before long, you'll find this very easy. Cheers. Have a good day.